Hereditary Prince Alois of Liechtenstein presents an order in Vaduz. King Charles III of the United Kingdom attends an award ceremony in London. Queen Letizia of Spain chairs a meeting in Madrid. Crown Princess Mathemari in Norway kicks off the literature train tour in El Verum. And Queen Margrethe of Denmark receives an award in Copenhagen. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing well today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alexandra. And no, I'm not a robot. And yes, I do know how to spell the name Hawken. And welcome to your Royal Daily News for Wednesday, June 12th, 2024. In connection with the opening of the exhibition entitled The Year's Best Book Work at the Black Diamond in Copenhagen, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe of Denmark received an honorary award from the Association for Book Crafts for her unique personal efforts for the benefit of Danish book culture as an illustrator, translator, and inspirer. After receiving the award, Queen Margrethe presided over the inauguration of the year's best book work in the Queen's Hall. According to a press release from the Royal Danish Library, the exhibition contains, quote, 30 selected industrially produced books and six handbound books, everything from the classic carried by centuries-old traditions to the creatively innovative and challenging, which emphasizes the role of the physical book as a mediator united with an artistic expression. The exhibition will allow visitors to see, read, feel, and leaf through the books on display. End quote. On Tuesday, Queen Margrethe presided over the presentation of the 2024 Prince Henrik Prize held at the University Library at Copenhagen University. The Prince Henrik Prize, awarded in collaboration with the Danish Fiction Writers Association and the Danish Writers Association and worth 300,000 Danish kron, is presented to a current or established Danish poet who has made a significant contribution to Danish poetry. The winner of the Prince Henrik Prize went to Ms. Ursula Olsen for her, quote, original, boundary-breaking writing, which has contributed decisively to the expansion of poetry's forms of expression in Denmark, end quote. In a statement from the Prince Henrik Prize jury, they noted that Ms. Olsen's poetry is, quote, universalist, not on the terms of romanticism, but on the terms of the modern world. It does not hold back, but throws itself into, absorbs, contemplates, and harnesses the chaotic and complex reality. End quote. Along with the prize, Ms. Olson also received a statuette of the late Prince Henrik's sculpture, Bob Ladeer. On Tuesday, Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Mathematic in Norway, kicked off the sixth edition of the literature train tour from Elverum to Rudos. According to the Royal Court of Norway, this year's literature train is, quote, approximately 113 meters long and carries, among other things, a library wagon containing parts of the Crown Princess's private book collection. In addition, the Dijkman Library has lent books. The public is welcome on board the library car in the Crown Princess's literature train stops in the cities of Elverum, Aldal, and Ruros. While in Elverum, the Crown Princess visited the library where she met with ambulance driver Mr. Ulf Grindal. End quote. Mr. Grindal is one of several men in the municipality participating in the Men in Uniform Read Project. The project aims to showcase positive male role models who promote reading among fathers of young children and other adult males. I love reading. We didn't have any power last night. It went off again. It's green season. It's typical. So I started reading The Plantagenets. Oh my gosh. I love that book. I've had it for years. Loving it. I wish there was a royal book club. Does anybody know if there's one? 
I'm on Goodreads, but yeah. let me know if you know of any royal book clubs. I'd love to join. On Tuesday, His Royal Highness Prince Daniel of Sweden held an audience with the governor of Colorado, Jared Polis, at the Royal Palace. Governor Polis and his economic delegation are visiting Stockholm this week to strengthen economic ties between the Kingdom of Sweden and the state of Colorado. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Sylvia of Sweden presided over the presentation of the 2024 Stockholm Prize in Criminology at Stockholm City Hall. Established in 2006, the prize is awarded to an individual or group who has made outstanding achievements in criminological research or who has practically applied it to reduce crime and promote human rights. The prize is worth 1 million Swedish kroner. This morning, the Queen participated in the opening of the 27th Nordic Gerontology Congress at the Karolinska Institute in Solna. Organized by the Swedish Gerontological Society, the Swedish Geriatrics Association, the Nordic Gerontological Federation, and the Karolinska Institute, the theme of this year's Congress is Aging in a Changing World. This morning, His Serene Highness, Prince Albert II of Monaco, along with his niece, Mrs. Charlotte Kazaragi Rassam, participated in Matinee au Marché de la Condamine, moderated by French journalist Ms. Sandrine Neg, during day two of Philo Monaco Week. Philo Monaco Week, organized by Monaco Philosophical Meetings, is an annual event where journalists, philosophers, professors, and authors, quote, engage in conversations with the public, present their works, and participate in roundtable discussions with a new theme each day. Ecology, education, care, women, and the art of living. End quote. This morning's theme was education, with psychologist and psychoanalyst Dr. Lawrence Joseph philosopher Ms. Claire Marin, and author Professor Isabel Alfondery, to name a few. On Thursday, the 2024 Monaco Philosophical Meetings Prize Award Ceremony will take place at the Princess Grace Theatre, with Mrs. Charlotte Kazaragi Rassam presiding. On Monday evening, the Sovereign Prince attended the 10th anniversary celebrations of Cluster Yachting Monaco, held at the Yacht Club de Monaco. In Madrid, Her Majesty, Queen Letizia of Spain, chaired a meeting of the Patronato de la Residencia de Estudiantes, held at the Residencia de Estudiantes. On Tuesday, the Queen presided over the 16th edition of the Call for the Erios de Tu Nomina Award Ceremony held at Ciudad Grupo Santander. Erios de Tu Nomina is an initiative of Banco Santander in which its employees in Spain, quote, participate through donations to promote projects that will help to improve society, end quote. And via Franca del Bierzo, His Majesty, King Felipe VI of Spain, presided over the inauguration of the exhibition entitled Hospitalitas, La Gracia del Encuentro, held at the Iglesia de Santiago y Colegiata de Santa Maria. According to a press release, Hospitalitas is a, quote, term with Greek roots and a Latin background. This exhibition explores the concept of solidarity, tracing its evolution to the present day. The exhibition also examines how this concept has been interpreted in a contemporary context, considering the fragmented reality of today.
The exhibition is organized into chapters featuring works by renowned Spanish artists. These works offer insight into the concept of hospitality, which is a key component of identity. End quote. In London, His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom received letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to the United Kingdom at Buckingham Palace. The newly appointed ambassadors are from the Republic of Cuba and the Republic of North Macedonia. The letters of credence is an official document in which a foreign head of state informs a sovereign that he or she has recently appointed the ambassador as the official representative of his or her country in the United Kingdom. Upon receiving the letters of credence, formalizes his or her entry into office in the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Camilla of the United Kingdom viewed the exhibition entitled Gardening Bohemia at the Garden Museum in London. Last evening, the King attended the inaugural King's Foundation Awards held at St. James's Palace in London. According to Buckingham Palace, the awards honor and recognize the, quote, outstanding efforts of students, teachers, alumni, and partners who have significantly contributed to the Foundation's mission across various sectors. There are nine award categories, with the event culminating in the King presenting the King Charles III Harmony Award, a special accolade recognizing an individual's long-term dedication to the Foundation's mission. End quote. His Royal Highness, Hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg, accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Mr. Xavier Battelle, the Minister of the Economy, Mr. Lux Dellis, and a business delegation continued the three-day economic mission to Japan. The economic mission aims to strengthen political and economic relations between the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg and Japan. On Tuesday, the hereditary Grand Duke and the ministers participated in a roundtable meeting with the Federation of Japanese Economic Organizations. The discussions focused on the data economy and space technologies, key topics of the economic mission, and provided an overview of bilateral economic relations. The meeting ended with the signing of two Memorandum of Cooperation. According to a press release from the government of Luxembourg, the cooperation agreement aims at strengthening cooperation between the two governments in their activities in the space domain for peaceful purposes. Thereafter, the hereditary Grand Duke and the ministers held a meeting with the Japanese Minister of the Economy, Mr. Ken Saito. In the evening, the hereditary Grand Duke hosted a reception at the Embassy of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg in Tokyo, for Japanese companies and partners active in the Grand Duchy. On Monday afternoon, their Royal Highnesses, Grand Duke Henri and Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg presided over the inauguration of Ellis's care home in esch sur alzette According to the Cour Grand Ducal, after the unveiling of the inaugural plaque, the royal couple was given a tour of the 130-room state-of-the-art care home. Their Majesties, King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, continued their four-day working visit to the United States of America. The purpose of the visit is to strengthen economic ties between the Kingdom, the state of Georgia, and New York State. On Tuesday, Their Majesties visited Savannah, Georgia, where they held a meeting with the mayor, Van Johnson, at the City Hall. They also toured the historic city center of Savannah, visited Savannah State University, as well as the port of Savannah, where they were given a tour of the terminal and attended a business meeting that focused on, quote, sustainable port development 
and hinterland and connectivity. End quote. In the evening, their majesties attended a networking reception at the Telfair Museum. On Tuesday in Baruts, His Serene Highness, Hereditary Prince Alois of Liechtenstein, on behalf of His Serene Highness, Prince Hans Autumn II of Liechtenstein, presented the Grand Cross of the Princely Order of Merit of Liechtenstein to the President of the Austrian Federal Economic Chamber, Mr. Harold Marr. According to the Ministry of Presidential Affairs and Finance, Mr. Marr received the order in recognition of his, quote, significant contributions to strengthening bilateral cooperation and for the services rendered to the relations between Austria and the Principality of Liechtenstein. End quote. And finally, in Amman, His Majesty, King Abdullah II of Jordan, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan, and His Royal Highness, Prince Rashid bin Al Hassan of Jordan, hosted the Call for Action Urgent Humanitarian Response for Gaza High Level Conference held at the King Hussein bin Talal Convention Center. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back tomorrow on Thursday, June 13th with all the latest world news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful afternoon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.